Hi Pisces, welcome to your June 2020 tarot reading. I'm gonna combine a bit of uh, Kabbalah knowledge for you too because I feel it's important and that's what I personally study and in its deep level tarot is associated to Kabbalah. So I'm gonna give you first uh, an overview on the month. We are moving from Gemini season which is represented by the lovers to Cancer season which is represented by the chariot. Now the lovers is not really just lovers or romantic love. It's a really deep card and it's understanding the meaning of Gemini essence. So Gemini is about taking two polarities and bridging them into one. So this is what was happening with you this season, kind of looking at your darker side and the light side and understanding that it's all one and it's all light at the end. So getting very familiar with these two aspects of yourself and Gemini season is supportive, like it's a lighter frequency that allows that investigation, that understanding, that um, union of male, female, um, bittersweet, you know, water, fire, all of this is coming together. Geminis are very good um, to be like messengers, to be mediators, to bring the product to the customer and to do something productive out of two polarities. So in a way, we were supported and more happy, in, all of us in Gemini season, but things are shifting a little bit and towards Cancer season, which is around June 21st, um, there is going to be a sort of shift in energy. There are three months, according to Kabbalah, that are, let's say, with a little less um, divine protection. So the level of exposure there to maybe psychological attacks or emotional attacks are higher. Now, all of this serves for a good reason, right? Because when we feel some sort of lack or when we are in some sort of despair or discomfort, that actually makes us ask even stronger to what we want. So at its core, a difficult season is not that bad because it helps us to grow, but it's good to know what we're facing. And Cancer is your sister sign, so it's always nice in a way to be in a watery kind of season, but also remember that there will be need for your own protection, you know, creating your protective environment, surrounding yourself with helpful people, helpful media. So cancer is a lot about vision and what you are seeing. So if you were used to, let's say, uh, watch videos that are not that beneficial to you or go to places that can plant images in your mind that are not that divine or helpful. So cancer season is a lot about blocking that and in a way creating safe environments deliberately. Also, I believe that cancer season for you, specifically Pisces, is about giving to other peoples. You have a really big talent in gifting gifts. Like all the gifts that I personally got from Pisces people were just so on point. They were so charming and sensitive and sometimes very romantic. And I feel that, you know, sometimes to get out of a feeling of lack, the best answer is to give. It's kind of really shifting our minds from I need, I want, give me to let's see what I can give to others. So um, before I begin spreading the tarot, the last thing I want to point out is the tree of life. So this is the Kabbalistic tree of life. I'll also have a little um, photo that is closer to the screen for you and the two spherot which are the two spheres and they are levels of consciousness that you're associated with is um, the fourth one which is mercy and it's called chesed and you're also associated to an invisible one so, so there are ten and there are three upper ones which are more um, let's say divine or higher spirituality and the seven lower ones which is which are more associated with our path and our mission and our physical environment so there is an invisible um let's say level of consciousness that that like um 
connects the, those both. And your ruling planet Neptune is in charge of that invisible sphere. So it's called Da'at and that means to know. So it's kind of like your talent to just know things. It's not only that you grasp it in your mind and you are wise enough to understand it. It's just you know in your being. You just Your intuition is so strong that you just know that things are going to happen. So I believe that's a key to your success, using that knowingness about people, knowingness about yourself to guide you. So that's number one. And your other ruling planet is Jupiter, and it is associated with the forest sphere, and the color of it is blue, and it is associated with... Um, masculine energy and giving and abundance and money so in your core pisces you do have a really big talent with money and the amount of ideas or um, abundance that can flow to you is almost unstoppable or doesn't have any limit it's limitless now it's up to you to take it to any polarity that you want you know you can take it to be the most generous and the most um, like rich and talented and just plenty of things running through you or um, you can block it and the block is through that the mind the mind is the blocker so it's a lot about using your mind now I'm going to start shuffling the tarot and I want to say uh, that I was also getting specifically up to you um, a couple messages about nature. I believe that June will be a month that you will connect more to nature. You know the feeling sometimes that nature accepts us no matter what. So nature is happy and the flower is blooming and even if we are depressed or even if we're happy, that doesn't really matter. I'm actually actually going to take those three. So we're starting with the two of wands. Very nice. Um, crossed by the four of wands. So there is some celebration for you happening. And the fool, the fool is your card for me always. The most spiritual card, the person that is going on an adventure. And I believe that you Pisces are adventurous in nature. So the two of wands here is like an Aries energy. It's the beginning of the beginning. So in June, you, you will have a renewal of energy and fire is coming to you because I see here wands and another wand. So these two are both Aries cards and Aries is about leadership and about being brave and courageous. You might be seeking for a new house. You might be also celebrating with friends. Something is lighter in you. Something is going much better. Like I said, spending time in nature could do that. Maybe you're growing a new garden, something organic, something that is under the sun. So all of these three are um, showing me of a, a level of freedom, a level of happiness, maybe going on a trip, traveling a little bit. Definitely things are starting to go your way because I know that you did experience some difficult times, but I feel you're kind of over that right now. I want to also talk to you about sex. <laughs> For the ones of you that believe that sex is a deeper level of connection, the message that I have is that please try to keep that um, in a high level of purity. I mean, when we have loveless sex, it can actually do the opposite of making us feel good. So when sex is used for the ego or for our personal benefit or something like that, then it kind of can empty us. When sex is used to generate a deeper level of connection to the other person and it's just an expression of love an expression of joy then the result is completely different so have sex only with people that you feel very very drawn to and you know who you're drawn to like you have that in you and you know sometimes being alone or not having sex at all that's fine too that is associated in a way to your energy level oops wow page of pentacles very nice 
So there was good good news about money that came to you recently. Oh, wow, ten of pentacles, very good. What's going on with you, Pisces? Money money is starting to flow to you. Um, maybe connected to some sort of Sagittarius energy. You might be connecting to many people with different nationalities. Queen of Swords. Uh, could be traveling. Like I said, I do see you walking in nature or taking a trip. I'll take this one, Strength. Taking a trip somewhere. You're having like amazing energy through this reading and i feel in the strength here is tied to what i was talking to you about strength is just about that you see the woman holding the lion she's taking control of her temptation and the reward for the temptation is huge because if you can control your urges and really use your intuition and plan and think about it so the queen of swords here comes and tells us that you need to think of the bigger picture always. And the bigger picture is associated many times with some sort of discipline, some sort of plan that is long term. And we see her here wearing a white dress. She has flowers on her head and the, the symbol of eternity eight. So she for me is also about relationships. She looks like the angel Haniel, which is the angel of relationship and is associated to Venus. And the answer to many relationships is knowing how to tame the beast. Tame the beast with not going out at our partner when we actually need to do the inner work. So the Queen of Swords is a wise person and I do see you, you know, using that a clear mindset to help you through temptations that you might have this month, that you might face this month. You know, God will test us during cancer season. Even though some planets are in retrograde, including Venus, I feel that everything had a brighter and lighter feeling to it. Give and take a few days, of course, we all have our critical days, but June 9th is a, is a day to remember. June, June 9th is the time that Venus is supposed to reappear. She turned invisible and June 9th is considered to be a very important day. Um, we have the Four of Pentacles. So I see a lot of Pentacles in your reading. Four of Pentacles and Strength is a very similar energy in knowing how to tame yourself, getting respect from the community. Maybe this is on your mind too, wanting to do, make an, uh, an influence on the world. You're hitting the jackpot in some way this month. Okay, last card, Knight of Swords. All right, let's see even closer. I do see some of you having pets or a pet or a dog because I do see that also in the Fool and also you see in the Ten of Pentacles we see the old man uh, sitting with his dog so maybe that's also something that you really enjoy to do being around your pet and well the Ten of Pentacles there's not much more to say about it it's the money card of the deck so if you were um, looking for money your money is flowing to you and let it flow and use your um, connection to spirituality to help you overcome maybe past hurts because the page of wands you see him wearing this shirt and it has the salamanders on it the salamander is a creature that can survive fire so he's kind of wearing his ability to survive any kind of difficult situation and in a way perhaps you had to survive many difficult situations throughout your life you are a very sensitive person you have the purest heart and sometimes people have took advantage of it but by you know sticking to your truth and going through to the things that you truly believe in and truly want. You're getting the money and the rewards that you deserve. So there will be some sort of acknowledgement from the community. That will be towards the end of June for you. So that's represented by the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a card that doesn't give you the reward straight away. It is giving you the money after the test. So 
your ability to let's say manage your money well manage your sexuality well manage your temptations well will give you respect um, in your city in let's say a platform that you are part of but this is an energy that's building and it's going to grow even stronger because we see the knight of swords which is a Gemini energy and that's leading you forward so you're gonna get a lot of enthusiasm this month and I feel that it's basically a lot about your money but your romantic relationship feels very festive you might be doing like a romantic dinner or just a feeling of harmony with your partner the whole energy of this reading is about renewal renewal going on an adventure and that is the end result of june so the fool comes at the end and the knight of swords comes at the end and there is like a lift of energy for you all of these are super powerful and positive cards so your energy is up going up and up and up and up and it's a lot about also you controlling your anger or controlling your temptations and that even helps you to grow pure more pure um, perhaps friends are going to help you community is going to help you your money is growing your just overall energy is getting stronger and it offers a lot of opportunities for you so maybe if you're single it's about meeting other people towards the end of june july can be a really strong month for you actually i saw august as the strongest one for if you are looking to meet someone or to get into a serious relationship with someone so that would be for the people that are completely single right now but for the people that are partnered i do see you having an amazing time with your current partner perhaps some of you are getting engaged perhaps some of you are getting married that's the energy of what's happening and congratulations pisces you totally deserve it perhaps all this money that's flowing to you is flowing to you through a wedding or through a planning of a wedding so let's also see a little more there's going to be some sort of miracle that's happening to you this month and your job is to not fall into negative thinking always always do the best you can to keep your mindset positive because remember miracles love a loving mindset so when you're loving when you're in the right vibration the miracles are attracted to you just presents gifts things that are coming from you out of nowhere and remember what i was telling you about giving you can at this new moon make a list of things you can do for other people in the most selfless way and just do them and if it's just like sending a text message to a friend saying how much you appreciate their friendship do that if it's offering your help if it's maybe giving let's say two dollars for charity somewhere that you wanted to do it for a long time that's actually building your a uh, shield of protection of divine protection because what you're doing you're sending deliberately positive energy to the world another thing i want to say is associated with with witchcraft so the 21st would be like a witchy holiday it's called midsummer and it is about marriage it's about long-lasting relationship it carries that energy so if you want to attract a partner that's a good time to start setting intentions make a list of everything you want to have in your um, future partner and if you're already coupled make a list of everything you are grateful for in your current relationship and your hopes and dreams for future activities okay we have the cancerians a card for you it says the power of sensitive touch and cuddling so don't forget that give your love give your physical love and attention to your partner and maybe take time off to just do things for just your pure pleasure if you're a girl don't forget your feminine essence that means uh taking care of your body of your beauty don't neglect that ever and know that that's part of your energy
Okay, we have Rabia. It says, the queen of saintly women. I am in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me do, to move. So connect to love vibration. Always ask God to help you if you're stuck in negativity, if you're stuck in negative thinking. God is here to help you. And I do believe in prayer. So sometimes the devil enters our mind and it's almost impossible to you know, have a positive thought or happy thought, just ask for divine assistance and wait and see what happens. And you will see that sometimes that extra push from God or for praying for help is the answer. Okay, we have slave. It says light attributes, surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. Shadow attributes, giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choices. So I believe this is a sort of warning to not let other people decide your destiny, not let other people decide what's good for you. It's about you um, knowing inside yourself your truth, your answer, your path, and making that effort to connect to your higher self. Okay, we have addict. It says, helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. Shadow attributes, compromises integrity and honesty, allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your inner spirit. This for me is about um, addiction to negative thinking. Like I said, a loving mindset attracts miracles. Pisces, miracles are coming your way. We are generating a different mindset, a different emotional dictionary that's around you and will get you higher and higher. I do believe we all can change. So the change happens first in our mind, in our thinking. And Gemini season is supportive of that getting our mind straight, getting our balance straight, and then the tests come in cancer season. New beginning coming to you, Pisces. Be prepared. Okay, we have relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. Amazing. I, I feel it's about looking at your life, not only about your relationships, about everything. And the way you react to somebody telling you something is also the way you react inside yourself. So this is about getting more familiarity with yourself, allowing yourself, loving yourself, accepting all parts of you. And through that, the acceptance of others is bigger. All right, Pisces, I love you very much. I wish you a great month. I believe you'll, you're you going to have a blast. Remember what I told you about entering cancer season. Do your best to stay away from triggering places and situations and keep yourself as pure and possible. Don't fall into temptations. Love you. Thank you. Bye.